Freewheel recently released the Augur Mapbox system, so today I want to show you five reasons why you might want to start using a Mapbox if you film a lot of video. The number one reason you might want to start using a Mapbox is to deal with light entering your lens, because when light hits your lens at certain angles, you'll get loss of contrast, you'll get strange reflections, you might get weird lens flares that you don't necessarily want. So let's go outside and I'll show you what I mean. So one of the reasons you might want to get a matte box is for this right here. I'm super strongly backlit, the sun is shining directly into the lens, and you get these little lens flares. And a matte box is one way that you can control the lens flares. But the Freewell one actually has a few more tricks up its sleeve than just that. But let's put it on there and control the lens flares so we can get rid of some of these ugly green blobs here. So now we've got rid of those weird lens flares because there's no more direct sunlight hitting the lens. On stray light, you might say, well, I've already got a lens hood, so what's the big deal? When you have a lens hood like this, if you're going to use a variable ND filter like this, generally, it won't actually fit, and you have no way to actually twist it with the lens hood on. So then you're left with running the camera like this with no lens hood, which means you get a lot of stray light and strange points of light coming into your lens. And that might be okay for running gun stuff, but if you're gonna start working in any sort of documentary stuff or any little bit of higher end production where you're gonna to wanna to control the amount of light coming into your lens, both from a filter side and from a just reflection stray light side, a matte box is really gonna help you get there. But another reason you'd wanna use a matte box is to be able to stack filters. And Freewell's come up with a pretty cool way. You get all these different rings from 67, 72 to 77 that you thread onto your lens. And then the matte box simply clicks onto those rings. You get it centered up to where it's straight up and down. And then on this side, there's a little, uh, a little thing to be able to tighten it down so that the matte box doesn't move anymore. And then the coolest thing is because this whole system is magnetic, you get these different magnetic filters that simply snap into place. And because they're magnetic, you can stack, magnetically stack a bunch of these. So I've got the glow mist filter, and then that adds the blue streak filter. If we want an ND32, that all stacks on there. And now you've got a stack of three filters. And if you do certain types of video or photography work where you might need a graduated ND filter, if you can see here, it's lighter on the bottom and darker on the top, then that will slide just nicely right in there. So now you have a Glomus filter, a variable ND filter, and a graduated ND filter to be able to control the amount of light coming into or uh, hitting your lens. Another reason to use a matte box is it just looks more professional. So you're going from something that looks like this to something that looks like this. And that definitely looks a lot more professional. And especially if you're using smaller mirrorless cameras that look small and maybe not quite what your client expected, having a matte box on the front will make it look a lot more professional. Plus, let's be honest, they just look pretty cool actually. Now, full disclosure, Freewell did send this filter to me, but they're not paying for this review. They get no input into this video. They don't get to see it before it's launched, but I've been a big fan of Freewell filters for a long time. I've purchased a lot of them. They've sent some to me, but they're very good, high quality filters, and they've really withstood a lot of abuse. The fourth reason to use a matte box like this with a variable ND filter is instead of having to reach around and touch the lens or touch the glass and probably get fingerprints on the glass, is you can adjust the variable ND filter from up here because there's this nice little knob right back here on the back that allows you to change how dark or how light the ND filter, the variable ND filter is. And this is Freewell's true color ND variable ND filter, which means it has the least amount of color shift that most very any variable ND filter will have. And last but not least, but definitely a big part of it is that a matte box protects the lens. If you're running around in dusty, dirty environments, then one, the matte box is gonna keep a lot of that off of your lens if you close this up. And it, if this somehow falls over or you set it down into something and the lens tips forward, then this is gonna help take the brunt of that impact as opposed to your actual lens, which will keep your lens a lot safer. There are a few things that set this Freewell system apart from other matte boxes on the market where you can stack filters and add variable NDs and stuff like that. And one is affordability. It may not seem cheap at first, but when you add up the cost of all of the different filters and all the things that you can utilize this with, with this system, there's a couple of different options you can get. One is just the matte box and the variable ND, or you can add on other filters like this blue streak filter here, but you can also add other things like this Glomus filter. You can also add this ND32 filter, which then turns the one to five stop true color ND filter into a six to nine stop. So you can get really, really dark if you wanted to 
which is really nice. But not only that, this, because it has a circular polarizer and a uh, secondary circular polarizer, you can take the one to five stop true color variable ND cover off, and then you just have a circular polarizer, which can be really useful for dealing with reflections in water, reflections on skin, or reflections through the window of a car. If you need to control reflections, a circular polarizer is really handy. There are, of course, links in the description. And as of the time of recording this video, Freewell is actually running a sale on this system where you can get a fair amount off. So go ahead over there and check it out if this is something you need to add to your filmmaking kit. In the meantime, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video next. I'll see you over there. As always, if you have questions, ask me in the comments below, or you can join my live stream, which happens most Wednesday nights at 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern, where we can have more of a conversation and maybe cover questions that I didn't answer in this video. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.